Let's take a quick look at some of the new features in ImagePrint 10. Just like ImagePrint 9, we've stuck with our dashboard and we've added a few features to that. We've also changed the way that each menu is viewed on the screen. We went to a dockable toolbar and we allow you to dock and undock and change the position of the docking on the screen. This helps utilize multiple monitors as well. I'm going to go to view and I'm going to look at my image strip. I'm going to say undock this and this is going to allow me to move it around anywhere I want, move it to a new monitor if I want it to be there. And if I want to dock it back, I can just go back to the image strip, say dockable, and then place it where I want in the docking toolbar and it'll dock itself. We can also change the size of each one of these items. It'll automatically know when it bumps up against another docked menu, so it won't let you override it. We've also added some uh, new features with our image sizing and positioning bar up on top. And we've changed the actual floating uh, tool items that are on the left-hand side of the monitor here. Um, we still have our zoom in and out, our rotation uh, flip left, right, top, and bottom. Um, but we've added a new one called Fit to Margins, and we'll explain that later. And we have our Fit to Page, our center on the page, go back to a original size of an image. Our scissors, which are to delete a single image or region on a page. And the red scissors, which is going to delete all re regions on the page. Um, one of the other main differences into Image Print 10 in the layout window, um, instead of going to a, a static page on the screen, we've now gone to a multi-page system. And we can access that page system in the upper left-hand corner of the page there. And when we do this, um, what we're actually going to see, I have nine pages now viewable on the screen. And I can change that. Let's say I just wanted two pages side by side or go back to a single page. Um, what this allows me to do quickly is actually see if I have multiple pages what are on each one of those pages but it also allows me to move images in between pages. So if I put an image on a page here, if I don't want it on page one, I actually want it on page two, I can simply drag it over to the page I want to. So this just allows us when we're doing a lot of images, having a lot of pages um, allows us a, a better way of visually seeing what's on every page, better utilizing our paper um, by moving images around on pages if that's our main goal.